When I think about thought exchange, it's just, I, I can't really even compare it to survey, right? It's just, it's, um, it's just so much more robust in terms of the ability for people to see each other's thinking. Um, and for us to have some sort of prioritization through that, that's not me prioritizing it. And certainly, you know, with some sort of surveys where we're just asking people to rate things and from a quantitative standpoint, um, there's some uh, power to that. But from a qualitative standpoint, like I don't have the time or energy to go through and nor should I be spending my time reading a thousand different inputs um, from a qualitative kind of this is my experience and this is what's important to me. So allowing the community to calibrate that themselves, um, there's an authentic uh, authenticity to that. And so then I can look at, OK, this is what's bubbling up or these are some um, common themes across things. And then I can spend my time on that as opposed to trying to sort everything out initially and then missing what's important. Um, and then my bias isn't the one that it's, you know, like I'm a leader, I'm supposed to um, share with the district a vision and I'm supposed to be involved in decision making, but I have a limited set of experiences. Um, and so if I'm the one that's kind of filtering through survey information, right, like that my bias is gonna come into that. And so using thought exchange again as a kind of like that ground level um, orientation is really important to me.